Hi, I'm Angie. Welcome to RV360 by National Indoor RV Centers, where we have all the details on the latest coaches. NIRVC is a trusted resource with RV lifestyle specialists who are here to help you find your dream coach. NIRVC also supports you well after the sale with storage, service, and detailing. So basically, we do it all. Hi, I'm Angie with National Indoor RV Centers, and today I'm so excited to introduce to you a brand new product to the market. So this is the first video that's ever been done on the Heritage product. This is the 2025 Heritage by Midwest Automotive Designs. So we have totally specced out this um, B-Van behind me. For you B-Van enthusiasts, you are going to love this. There is uh, a lot of value to everything that we put in this coach. So first of all, just look at the beautiful exterior. This is a stone exterior color. And one of the cool things that Midwest Automotive Design has done is they purchased a free trade zone. So you're probably wondering what that means. Well, let me tell you, if you happen to have purchased a coach during the COVID years or the years right after that, um, there were a lot of B vans that came in um, from Mercedes from the South Carolina plant with decontented chassis or modified chassis. Well, um, if you're a consumer, you're not gonna be happy with that. If you're a dealer, you're not gonna be happy with that because it's very hard to explain to your customer. And if you're a manufacturer, you're not happy with that. So Midwest Automotive Design went out and spent a lot of money to get a free trade zone. So all of these chassis come directly from the Mercedes plant in Germany. Another great bonus to that is that they are trucked in over to Midwest Automotive Designs, so there's no miles on them. So they're just, uh, you're never gonna have to worry about a decanted or modified chassis, so that is just huge. Now, after you watch this video or when you're watching or during the video, make sure you comment and let me know what you like that I share with you. Let me know if there's something more that you'd like me to um, delve into with more detail really want to hear from you, our customers. And then most importantly, after you do all your research, as you watch these videos, make sure you come to National Indoor RV Centers. We want to help you. We want to be your dealer. We really believe that the relationship between the dealer and the customer start um, after the sale, during the service. We, we want to take care of your, um, you and your van for the lifetime that you own it. Um, we're all about that. So just make sure that you come to National Indoor RV Centers after watching. So let's start at the very top here. You can see the uh, radio antenna. Then we've got our nice big windshield so you can see the beautiful country as you travel along in your luxurious van. Uh, now right at the top of the windshield, you'll see like a little triangle that is from Mercedes. So that's gonna be one of your cameras. It's going to um, contribute to the adaptive cruise control, collision mitigation, lane departure or lane keep assist. Um, and then we've got our windshield wipers. Those are the rain sensing windshield wipers. So they'll automatically come on, um, pretty cool. And then we come down here to our beautiful front grill. Now Midwest Automotive Designs, they go that extra step. Um, they've actually paint the grill. They're the only ones that paint the grill. Give it kind of that G-Wagon feel. Looks really high end. I think it looks awesome. I just love this color. Um, and then we've got our beautiful headlights here, LED headlights. We've got kind of a little eyebrow here. Um, and then we've got the smart headlights. So um, you've got three lights in there. They'll automatically dim as oncoming traffic approaches. So not to blind are the cars that are coming towards us. We've got the fog lights here. And then down at the bottom, you can see here, we have the sensors for parking. You're gonna have that in the front and the rear. And then right behind this panel here is where the rest of the controls are for the adaptive cruise control for those safety features that come with the Mercedes chassis. Now this right here is where you can step up if you're not in a dress and heels. So you can clean that beautiful windshield <laughs> if you need to. And then right behind this little box here we've got um, the hook so that if you ever get stuck um, you can be kind of you could attach that and be winched out from that 
location here. Hopefully you never need it. Also want to point out the beautiful spoiler here on front that's painted to match the chassis. So that's one of the really cool things. I got to go to Midwest Automotive Designs and go do a factory tour. So if you want to see how these are built, um, make sure you check out that video. I love it. They, t they bring in the raw chassis. They take off um, you know, all the trim, the cladding. They paint both sides of it so you're never going to have peeling. Um, they paint this spoiler and to add that to it just gives it that nice look and then it looks fabulous when they add it all back into the chassis. Another option that National Indoor RV Centers has added for you on this van is the, the four camera system. So this is the first of the four cameras that I'll point out as we go along. This is gonna give you a great view of the van as you're driving all around the van, keeping you safe. All right, so the first thing, let's talk about something that's really exciting. This is an all wheel drive vehicle and it's got the four cylinder um, high output dual turbo so it's it's amazing like right off the start you put your foot on that accelerator and you just go it actually gives you um, 10 percent more horsepower and two percent more torque which is huge and it's quieter so you're really going to love it and you've really got to come and drive it to feel the difference it's it's amazing so um let's talk about what's here underneath the hood so there's a big empty space here that's where most of you are probably expecting to see like the chassis battery that's underneath the driver's seat uh, or underneath the like where your feet go i'll show you that when we get there um, so we've got a little extra space here here's our ground and then our positive if you ever need to jump your van power steering fluid windshield wiper fluid and we have our oil fill. Now, one of the things that you're not gonna see here is an oil dipstick. Um, you're gonna have a really accurate reading from your dash. I'll show you that when we get inside. And we also have um, our coolant here, engine air take, and then we've got the DEF. So DEF is also gonna give you that reading on your dash as well. Make sure you watch that. Make sure you always use a good DEF. It does have a shelf life. So it's good for about a year. It doesn't like sunlight, doesn't like, like heat. So if you buy it, um, you know, like say from Walmart and you're carrying it with you, just make sure you watch that expiration date to keep your, you know, engine running perfectly. So you'll notice the extra height that we have here. This is all wheel drive. So we get about three and a half uh, extra inches. And then we custom this coach with the blacked out wheel. So it looks really nice with this stone gray exterior. Just love it. Also gonna notice uh, our camera here, blind spot monitor. It's gonna also contribute to that four camera system I'm gonna show you in a little bit. We have our exterior mirrors. We've got the turn signal in here. We also have the um, blind spot alert. Um, so anytime a car's coming up along your side, you're gonna get that little triangle warning in there. These are internally controlled and heated as well. Then we have, I uh, talked a little bit about this at the front, but you'll see this trim work here or cladding. Again, they take that all off, they strip uh, the chassis and they paint this all around, all sides, and then they put it back on. We've got the nice uh, molded step here that they've done the same thing. So everything just looks really nice and sleek. Check out the side of this coach. It's just absolutely gorgeous. And you'll also notice that they've painted the awning. It matches as well, along with the AC unit. So everything looks like it all came custom to this van. Love that, it's just that extra little step. To operate that awning, the controls are right inside the door. So we're just gonna open the power door here. I'll hop up inside. So right here on our Fire, Firefly control panel, I'm gonna go to this little flower button there and I've got the extending button for the awning. From this panel, I can also turn on the light on the awning. So we have the nice LED lighting along there. We can stop the awning at any point. And this does have a wind sensor on it. So if a big gust of wind comes along, it's gonna shake that and it's gonna automatically pull in. Um, again, just like awning maintenance and general usage, I always like to be out and around my van when I've got the awning out, just in case there's a really big gust um, that we occasionally get in Texas. Uh, you would, you know, just to be safe, but it does have a wind sensor on it, so 
it should retract when that comes along. Notice the little eyes or the lights so you can safely get in and out of the van without hurting yourself. And then we have the porch slide as well. Right inside the door, we've got the button so you can easily um, open and shut the door. And then we've got our fire extinguisher for the van. And we've got a D-ring also right inside the door if you need to tie anything down. I think a fire extinguisher is great and a must have, but you also should check out Protang Fire Suppression System. I have a video on it, go check that out. It's sold exclusively at National Indoor RV Centers. And if you know anything about National Indoor RV Centers, we only sell products that we truly believe in. No snake oil with us. So if you happen to be working from your van or you just wanna enjoy at the outdoors without the bugs, you can easily do that. We've got a nice little screened in porch here, screened in van, I guess I should say. So I'm just going to unsnap my screen. and zip it up from the top. And then I have the nice magnet close here so that you don't have to deal with the zipper going in and out like a tent that you always break or, or you know, snag and then it breaks. <laughs> I love this. I love this system where it just magnets together. You can also just hook that together there at the top. And these are a little tight because they're brand new. So the more you use them, the easier it is to bring that together. But it gives you a nice closure and then you can enjoy the outdoors without the bucks. So notice some big tinted windows that we get from Mercedes. And we go down here, we've got the exhaust for the engine. Now back to the windows. <laughs> I love this because we have a sliding window. So you can actually have these windows open when you're going down the road if you want. Um, you've got a window on either side or both sides of the van so you can have that cross breeze if you're up in the mountains or if you're out by the ocean you want to hear the sound of the waves and then get that nice breeze you can easily do that here down below we have the two 110 outlets and then as we come around the back you can see that we've got the parking sensors for the rear of the van and we've got our LED lighting LED lighting up top so if you look at the very top of the van we've got the HD air antenna which is basically your over the air antenna. And then we've got the camera that comes for Mercedes. And then we have the extra camera that's gonna to contribute to that four camera view. I'm gonna show you here in a little bit. We have our 5,000 pound hitch with our tow vehicle light plug-in here. Now let's check out the back side of the coach. I love the doors open all the way. So you can really get to all your contents in there. Now let's talk about a few things. You got a little cargo net and um, miscellaneous area on both sides of the doors. We also have the rear blinds that are just manual, very easy to use. So you can black out your bedroom area very easily. Now a few things that I really wanna point out here that I love. First of all, you've got three seat belts on this back, on your back sofa. And I love, Midwest does this uniquely. You have this whole center area, that's a pass-through area. So let's say you've got a canoe or a kayak or a paddle board um, or your skis, you know, lots of things that we like to carry around for fun. You've got that pass-through area that you can use right there that's really nice. So they designed that just for that purpose. Now over on this side, we've got our fuse boxes for the rear back of the coach. And then we have our Timberline um, on-demand hot water and furnace for the coach behind here. And right here, we have our subwoofer for the van. So you're gonna have the Alpine sound system. You've got a subwoofer, an amplifier, four speakers, all from Alpine. So not just a sound bar, but actually a full sound system. So this is really important up here. You see the little zipper up top? That is actually a pass-through area above too so you've got it below and you've got it on top and how that came about is midwest was going to these rallies with all their customers carl does a lot of these rallies hi carl and um they were seeing that customers were taking off that back panel because they wanted that pass-through access so they just went ahead and added it for their customers so the other great thing again we have the front screen on the sliding door we also have a back screen that's exactly the same as the front so you just unhook it here zip together the top and then bring the two magnets um, 
closures together. So as I come around the driver's side, we have the exhaust for the Timberline system. Again, that's your on-demand hot water and furnace for the van. And then right above that, we have the plug-in for our 30 amp shore power cord, which just screws into that spot there. And then we've got our sliding window again for the driver's side. As we come along here, we've got our wet bay. Now, first of all, I want you to also notice just again how sleek. There's not a bunch of cutouts in this van. It looks really nice, very high end. And you guys, this is their entry level van. There's nothing entry level about it. Let's just start there. I love this. Okay, so here in the wet bay, we've got our shower hose. And again, they've given us a nice faucet on that shower hose. It's not just one of those wussy ones. We've got the different little jets. I like that. And it just plugs in right here and it screws in as well. And then you have your hot and your cold. Right below that, you have your black tank valve, your gray tank valve, and this is a macerator, guys, on a Class B. Macerator with a power reel. Okay, you're gonna be spoiled. You're gonna be spoiled, that's all I can say. <laughs> um, so you've got your uh, waste pump control here, and then you have your cable inlet your fresh water and your city water. And this is where you connect your fresh water or your hose, your water hose here. And then your black tank rinse and your gray tank rinse. Your fresh tank is 27 gallons. Your gray tank is 24 gallons and your black tank is 14 gallons. So you're probably wondering what the little black um, shark fin on the top of this van. So that's another thing where Midwest went to a rally and they saw these on top of their customers' vans and they asked what they were. Well, basically that's where your vents are for your black and your gray tank. What was happening, the wind was coming along, pushing that wind down into those um, vents and then out into the, you know, the, the toilet basically and it smelled bad inside. So you get these cyclone vents, you put them on there, the, the, when the wind comes along, it directs it away from that and actually pulls some of that air out of the gray tank and black tank, so no more smell. It was that easy of a fix, but guess what? They went ahead and put them on for the customers so that you don't have to worry about them. They're nice and secure, factory installed, love that. And then right in between those two vents, you've got the little vent for your shower or your bathroom inside the van. All right, right inside the driver's side door is where you access the fuel tank, 24 gallon diesel fuel tank right here. And then you'll see our second blind spot um, cam camera monitor here on the driver's side. As pretty as the outside is, I'm ready to show you the beautiful interior. Let's go take a look. Welcome to the beautiful interior of the Heritage product. Love this product. I love that they've added this octagon um, design in their upholstery. Again, their upholstery is all done in-house and they made this for Heritage product. It's beautiful. This is the milkweed interior and they kind of went back to their grassroots. That's the name of this fabric. The other option is graphite. I'm gonna show you a quick clip of that. Um, now remember, we're still in the building stages in there, but at least you get a, a chance to see that graphite color as well. But I just think this is beautiful. You get, this is the color wood that you get with the milkweed interior. And these cabinets are made by Genesis. They also make the cabinetry for Grand Design. So really nice um, high-end laminate wood here. And then they finish off everything nicely. I love the cabinets, there's really no, um, handles you just lift them up super easy and it looks beautiful we have the built-in tv up front so this is a 32 inch samsung tv built into this cabinet and then you see our two speakers up front we also have two speakers in the back so i mentioned this before but you're going to have the alpine sound system so four speakers a subwoofer and an amplifier for really great sound when you're in your van so on both chairs behind the captain and co-captain's chairs, you've got the child seat tethers, so you can attach a car seat so you can bring the family along. So I've turned around the captain's chair so you see that you have a nice setting here for four. 
so you have great conversation, enjoy each other's company. And then I also wanted to point out that I know this is one of National Indoor RV Center's vans because we customized ours with the weave flooring, which is the high-end um, marine flooring, easy to wash, easy to keep clean, and just looks that little extra bit of luxury inside your van. All right, over here to the left of me, I've got two 110 outlets, little storage compartment here, some vents here, and then we have our cup holder, two, one, uh, two USB charging ports, and then we have the window blind, which is just, you know, manual, and it easily pulls down to shut. And then you'll notice they just finished everything out nicely. So the walls are upholstered and there's padding there, um, even above the driver's and passenger seat, nice padding there. They just go that extra mile, again, in what they're calling an entry-level van. Doesn't look entry-level to me in any way, shape, or form. Just love it. Now, right behind my seat is a um, little compartment here that holds your lagoon table and I'll show you how to um, set that up when we get to the back of the coach. All right, so right here on our sliding door, we have very easy blinds to operate up and down. I love those, they're nice, they're secure, easy to use, keep their nice little crisp uh, edges there. And then below that, we have our emergency exit. For some reason, if your power door isn't working, you've got the instructions to um, for the emergency exit. We have opted this coach with the Eclipse cellular package. So what that means is you can take the family to Disneyland along with your furry friends and from your cell phone, you can adjust the temperature and you can see the temperature inside your van. So that is huge. Um, I know a lot of our RVers um, that come to our AIM Club events where we do some off-site exclusive activities just for our members. And a lot of times they may not come because they're worried about their pet, pets. This way you can monitor um, your van, your coach while you're away from it. So that's really cool. So this panel is where we can control a lot of the functions of the coach. This is the Firefly panel. You've got one at the dash, you've got one here midship, and you have one in the rear of the van as well. So I'm just gonna go to the home button here and we have our master light on and off switch, our awning light and our porch light. It's gonna give us the temperature inside the van, our levels of our tanks, fresh gray and black. We can turn on the tank heaters and the water pump, and it's gonna give us the level of our house batteries and our chassis batteries. So speaking of batteries, let's talk about that. We also optioned this coach with the lithium package. So that means that you get 1,080 amp hours on your lithium batteries. The lithium batteries are from Dragonfly, otherwise known as Battleborn. So great name, great batteries. You can basically run about 10 hours on those batteries without being plugged into anything, which is really great. It all depends on how many um, devices you're using, just like on your cell phone. How many apps do you have open? How many things are you using? Depends on how long they last. But typically you can be in a park, you can go through the, through the night, um, run your AC all off your lithium batteries, which is awesome. Speaking of the AC unit, we've got the GRI AC unit, which is amazing. Another game changer. So it's super quiet. It has the oscillating um, fans right here. I'll show you that in a second. Um, 15,000 BTU, and I'm telling you, it's so much quieter than the other AC units. You're gonna really notice a difference. I have it on full blast right now, full blast, and listen to how quiet it is. I'm telling you, it's a huge game changer. The other thing you can do is make, um, have like the oscillating fan, so you can just change that, and it will go into where it's gonna swing. So it'll go up and down. And then at any point, if you want it, uh, the air forced in that direction, you can just stop it at that point. The Victron Energy just gives you another readout for your batteries. And then if we go here, we've got our light controls here. So the master, the exterior master, and then we have a day mode and a night mode. And then we have the front reading light, rear reading light, accent lights, galley lights, our porch light and awning. Next up is our electrical. So right now we are not plugged in. 
So it shows the shore cord. If we were plugged in, you'd see a little line going from the shore cord to the breaker box. You can see our house level batteries and our chassis level on our batteries. The inverter is enabled and we're in a no charge mode. Now we can also go here to our solar charge controller. We've got 320 watts of solar on the roof. So two solar panels, 320 in total. And then the inverter um, charger. This is gonna give you more information about your inverter and charger settings. Then we've got our temperature control. So this is where you can set the temperature inside your coach, turn on the cool, heat, or auto, and then your fan speed here. your awning extend and retract, and your sofa incline and recline. And finally, our settings. So this is our network diagnostics. This is where you go to set up um, the Mira app on your phone so that you can put the controls that you have here on this app actually on your phone. Sorry. And you can just, you know, you want Fahrenheit or Celsius, your floor plan, auto dimming, screen brightness, and cleaning mode. So you wanna clean off this screen, you can hit that, that way none of the um, functions will actually deploy while you're cleaning the screen. Now right below that, you're probably wondering what these two buttons are. These are really cool. So you've got your battery disconnect here for the whole coach, and then you've got a fridge button. So what you can do, which I absolutely love, so let's do that whole Disneyland scenario again. You want to shut down the coach because you're not leaving any furry friends in here. So you just want to power it down, but you've got food in the fridge that you don't want to spoil while you're away. So you can take the battery off, power it down, press the fridge button, and then you've got enough power to power that fridge for a few days or more. So really, really cool option. So moving into the kitchen, first of all, check out that we've got the solid surface countertops, nice, big, deep stainless steel sink. You can actually get a full plate, a bowl in there. I love that with the residential faucet. And then notice that we've got the nice um, ultra leather vinyl, vinyl padded behind that, our LED lighting. And then up above, we've got storage. Nice big cabinet here, fully finished out. Microwave oven, and then we've got storage below. So I like this little cabinet because it's sort of like a great spot for, you could put brushes, sponges in there, or your, your spice spices. And then we have three nice size drawers, all this size, one, two, three. Love that. And, Speaking of refrigerators, here we have our nice big refrigerator with our little freezer section there. And we're not done with the storage. There's more over here. So another nice size drawer and then another nice drawer here with a drawer below it. And the great thing about these drawers, you can lock them in place. So you can lock them all. So during travel, you're not gonna worry about those drawers coming out. Then we have the two burner induction cooktop, which is great. It used to just be one, two. If you've got induction um, cooktop, you, you just need pans that a magnet will attach to the bottom of, and then you're gonna love them. It heats up really quick, really great. And then right off to the side here, or the edge, you've got two 110 outlets. So if you've got a coffee pot or a toaster that you wanna plug in, you can easily do that there. Plus you've got two USB charging ports as well. And we have a nice big window in our kitchen so we can easily just raise the blind, see the beautiful outdoors while we're doing all that cooking. All right, let's go and head into the bathroom here. Now both doors will open to give you a little bit better access into the bathroom. You can step in, but before I do that, we've got the bamboo um, shower floor cover here, porcelain toilet with the push pedal control our sink again we've got that solid surface nice stainless steel sink and then we've got our shower so we've got our handheld wand or we can go ahead and put that up there so that we've got our shower right at the very roof we've got the vent that we can just pop up for a little extra air so it doesn't get too humid and hot in there while we're showering our light which is right outside this door light so that's nice and right in there spot for our toilet paper 
and I'm just going to pop in here so you can see the size of it. We also have a clothesline that goes across here that you can just hook up. So if you need to dry the swimsuits or whatever, great place to do it. And then we've got a shower curtain that goes along here too, just to keep all that water and wetness inside the bathroom. Here's the control for the max air vent. And then we've got the light control for the bathroom. So we've got another nice big storage cabinet here. You may want to use as a pantry, but there is a mirror in here too. So you can check out your outfit, make sure everything's looking good. Great big storage compartment. And then we also have access to the different controls inside the coach, the Firefly system inside this cabinet. All right, so as we head back into the bedroom, couch area, I wanted to show you what the storage that we have here. So nice storage here, nice big compartment with no divider. And then this is probably one of my favorite things because as I showed you from outside, we have full pass-through here from the rear of the coach. So I do have it zipped up shut right now and the doors are shut, but you do have pass-through there, which is a nice feature. And then more storage. So now I'm back here lounging, relaxing after a day of driving. This is nice and comfy. I've got my 24 inch LG smart TV here so I can watch my favorite programs. I do have three seat belts along the back. Um, nice seating here. Or I can recline the sofa from, again, my third Firefly panel. So let's just do that. We can do control the temperature here go to my home button and I can recline. So if I want to kind of relax, kick up my feet, really, you know, get comfy while I'm watching TV, I love that feature. And then I will also make this into the bed here as well. But before I do that, let me just show you a few more things. Again, here's our panel. We've got the same features I've shown you, our home, climate, and then our settings. Two USB charging ports, cup holder, and then we have our cup holder here. Below that, we have our CO2 detector. And up on the ceiling, we've got our smoke alarm. So again, making sure that we're safe while we're enjoying the RV lifestyle is very important. While I'm back here, again, let's say that we're up in the mountains. I wanna enjoy the fresh air. So I can simply raise my blinds, open the little latch there, so easy. Now I've got fresh air or I can open the window completely. Just love that option and love that feature. And I love that I can do it while I'm going down the road if I want to. Well, the kids will love it, right? <laughs> we may not love it in the front, but, and then we can just easily close those blinds. And we have the same thing over here on the driver's side so we can get that cross breeze. Then above me, again, we've got our two more of our speakers for our um, sound system. And then you're probably wondering what this is. So this is a little, say that we're traveling, we've got this seat down, this can become a wardrobe. So I can hang clothes from here and from here. So just a nice little option there while you're traveling. So I went ahead and set up the lagoon table, super easy. Again, that's behind the um, chair that's behind the captain's chair and they have a nice little case for it. So everything just looks like it totally belongs, which I love. Um, nice surface here, so it's non, it's not slick, so that's gonna help you hold on to your drinks and your papers and everything. But you can make this your home office here in the back. And I love the lagoon table because you can easily move that around. If you've got friends here that want to um, use it, you can do that or bring it over here, push it over to the side. If you're not needing it at the moment, you can just leave that set up. You still have full access to the back area here. Um, just really makes it easy to use. Then when you're done with it, just loosen it and you're gonna just lift it right up. It pops off, flip it over and just line everything up here. Keep those things in. And then this, loosen that. It slides off, slide that piece on here. And then you'll put it in the bag and you can put it behind that, tuck it behind that chair. So again, we've got our LG 24 inch smart TV here and I can just pull this little tab here and release it so that I can 
direct that TV if I've got my guest here or if I want it, you know, closer, laying in bed, want to watch it. I can move that around a little bit and then I just can pop that right back into place. Now we've got the HDMI input and a USB charging port, our radio controls from here at the rear of the coach, and then our two 110 outlets. So right at my feet, we've got our breaker box. And then we've got underneath this cushion access to our low point drains if we need to get there. And on this side, we've got our extra piece here that I'm just gonna go ahead and pull out that will actually go in between here to create our bed base when we make the bed. All right, so it's time to make the bed. I'm gonna show you how easy it is. First of all, I'm gonna go to my home screen here and I'm going to recline the sofa. Recline the sofa. Then I'm gonna take my extra piece that I got from underneath this cushion, set it between the two cushions here. And then I'm just gonna take my back cushions from both sides. And it's a nice tight fit. So I usually like to kind of bring them together like a V, make a little teepee, and then just push them in. And there you go, it's that easy. Here's our Timberline system. So this is for our on-demand hot water and our um, furnace. So you've got two heating elements. So you've got your diesel burner here. And then this is when you will only work when you're plugged into shore power. So you can turn that on here and then you can set your temperature just with your finger easily. You could control that, warm it up or cool it down. And then if you really want to have um, a nice hot shower, you can turn on that. So you're gonna have nice hot water for 30 minutes. And then these are just your setting controls here, and for service information, limitation of the heating. So if you want it to stay warm for one day, you can set that here, or you can go to infinity, or you can push that back to just by the hour. Systems information, display brightness, sleep mode, fan speed, your clock, and back to your service information. Right here is your thermistor for the back half of the coach so you can keep the temperature nice and comfortable. And this is your thermistor for the furnace. All right, so here we are in the cockpit. First of all, I wanna let you know that below that cover there, we've got the fuses for the front half of the vehicle. We have the lumbar support so we can get it nice and comfortable. And then right in front of the chair, we've got a little lever here that allows us to turn the chair so we'll be able to swivel it once we're done driving for the day. And then if we wanna move it up and back and adjust the backrest, you do that right here on the door. So I can move it up, fix that backrest so it's nice and comfy. Once I get it right in the perfect location, I wanna lock in the memory. So I'm just gonna press the memory and the one. I'll hear a beep, then it's locked in. And then I can do the same thing for driver two. So memory, driver two, beep, and same thing for three. Actually for three, what I like to do is put it in the perfect setting so that it's in the right position so I can easily swivel it around once I'm not driving the van anymore. Next to that, we have the heat controls, unlock and lock the door handle. Nice little grab here so we can easily shut the um, door, window controls, and then the exterior mirror controls. Now right below this, we have a great area for mis miscellaneous items plus another drink holder here, and another spot for miscellaneous items below. Here's the lever to pull to pop the front hood. And then below my feet is where the chassis battery is located. On the column itself, we have the adjustment so I can adjust where the steering control is. And then we go to our light controls. So we have our running lights, auto, and our headlights. And then we have our fog lights and this is going to dim the lighting here on the dash. All right, so this is gonna be our turn signal control. 
and our windshield, our, our wiper, our windshield wiper controls. So we can just set them to auto because we do have the auto sensing, the rain sensing windshield wipers, or we can turn those on. And then if you want to see how those work, I just push the button in for the windshield wiper fluid, and you can see that it comes right out of the windshield wipers. So really cool, and it saves, saves drastically on your windshield wiper fluid. So with the new engine, you also get the nine speed transmission. You can manually shift from here, downshift or upshift. And then on the steering wheel itself, we can go to the home button, and then we can scroll through information really easily right from the steering column. So I like to go here to my service, Click in there. Now I can scroll down. DEF, that's going to give me my DEF rating, which is really nice to have at a glance at the dash. Then I go back. My, it's letting me know that I need to have service in 425 days. My engine oil level. And my particulate filter level. Then I can go over to my drive assist. So this is going to show me my following distance. Let's go to trip information. So we're at just our miles per hour right here. We can go to trip two, trip one. This is my driving habits. It's gonna kind of monitor me. Current consumption and um, Miles tell empty, 26.1. We better fill up. <laughs> so back, I can go to navigation, radio, media, phone. Then I'm gonna lock into settings here. This is where we can set the sensitivity of the windshield wipers to sensitive, standard, or low sensitivity. I'm gonna go back to sensitive and lock in there. I'm gonna go back, display and operation. Um, DEF reserve, so that's going to show it on that first panel. Next up is the cruise control, so I'm going to press that and then set. And then we've got the resume and cancel, and then I can just click up or down once I'm in cruise control. This is your um, following distance for your adaptive cruise control. You can adjust that while driving. Then we've got our horn. Over here, we've got the control for our system over our big display here. So I can scroll through that easily, again, without taking my hands off the steering column. And I can click into those things, go to the assistance, and then I can scroll through those different options. And I'll show you that too. This is also touch screen as well. Then we've got our voice commands, our on, um, on guard so we can call if we need help volume control, answer a call, hang up a call. Behind that, we've got our transmission control, so up for reverse, down for drive, and in push in here for park. To the right of the uh, captain's chair, we've got the emergency brake, so just pull up to release it. You're going to push, you're gonna pull up, push in, and release. So we have our keyless start. It's super easy. One time, press it, you'll be in accessory mode, Press it again, you'll be in ignition mode. When you're ready to start it, all you have to do is press down on the brake, hold the button in, it will start. Do the same thing to stop it. Press the brake in, hold the button, and it will stop. Here's your keyless fob, and we've got the nice little cup holders here. We can also open and shut the sliding door from here and two more cup holders. Now let's go up to the top display here. We've got our nice big display that you've seen me control from the steering column, but I can also do it by touch. And I can change these features if I want to. So I want navigation to be my first thing. So I'm just gonna hold down navigation, I'm gonna move it over one, click it here. Now that's gonna be the first thing I get to on my screen. So you can just, you know, totally customize that. I like to go to my settings here. This is where I can click in and see when the warnings, what warnings I'm going to get. And I can increase the pitch or decrease it as well. Go back, traffic sinuses. Do I want visual and audible? I do. I want both. So then I go back. 
Active lane keep, do I want that on or off or just a warning? Active brake assist, all these things that are going to keep you safely driving your van. Attention assist, so this is gonna let me know, it's gonna give me a little notice if I seem to be, you know, going out of my lane too much. It's gonna say, you might wanna grab a cup of coffee or something. And then my blind spot assist. So if I click in there, just that is on or off. And of course I wanna have that on. Then I can go to vehicle, your door locks, a lot of little things that you can customize to your likings. Then you can go to Mercedes and me. So this is where you can add um, apps that are compatible with this Mercedes car here. And if you've had a Mercedes, then this is all gonna be very familiar to you. Then below we've got the quick buttons so we can go to our camera. That's gonna give us our rear camera real quick. Go to our telephone. We can go to our navigation system. I love that really nice navigation system for Mercedes. You can also do Apple CarPlay and Android Auto on this. And then you can go to your radio, volume control here, back to your home button, um, turn this on or off. Go to our vehicle, so that's a quick button for that. And then our seek um, and source for the radio here. Then we have our HVAC controls here for hot and cold, our fan speed, AC, defrost, our hazards, max defrost, recirculate the um, interior air, and then we have our rear defrost. Below our cup holders, we have our USB-C charging port and our 12 volt receptacle. And then below that, there's a little space right here. So if you ever need to reset your, your keyless fob, you put it right in there and it will reset it. So this is a really cool feature that National Indoor RV Centers has optioned in for you. So the four cameras. So you've got the camera in the front, in the rear, and then your two cameras on the side, bringing this four camera view right to here to the driver, which is really nice to see it all right here. The other thing I love about this, when I put up the blackout shades, I'm gonna show you that in a minute, you can just look at your four cameras. You can be totally blacked out inside your van, no one knows you're in here, and you can see what's going on outside. And speaking of cameras, this is another favorite. This is all new for 2025. This is your rear view mirror, but it's actually the camera. It's a shot from the camera. Now I'm inside a building, so this isn't giving you a great visual of this, but you will get to see it when I do my test drive. So you can have the camera from the rear, or you can go like this, and then you've got your regular rear view mirror so you can see your passengers in the back, and you also have a settings button here so you can go settings and you can brighten or dim the screen and then you can also move that camera angle up or down so really really cool feature i absolutely love love that for 2025. now if i go up again i've got a spot for my sunglasses my sos emergency button here this is going to get me customer service then I go to my light panel here, so reading light for the driver. This is the light when the door comes on, or when you open the door, so the lights will come on. So your center light for the whole column here, and this is the light for the normal chassis. Obviously we modified that, so you, this doesn't do anything. And then we've got the reading light for the passenger. So here above the driver's seat, I've got the cup holder in the center console. I've got the port for your Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, you can hook in right here, and then your two charging ports, USB-C, and then wireless charging pad for your cell phone there, another cup holder, and another space here for in front of the co-pilot. There's a nice little storage compartment, and then I have all the same functions on my chair as the driver did, so the lumbar support, and then the memory features, the heated seat, and then right in here, in that little compartment, is where you've got your jack, in case you ever need that. Hopefully you never will. So I wanted to show you how easy it is to put up the blackout shade. So I've done the rest of it. This is all one piece. It just goes right between the rear view mirror. Put your sunshades down. Oh, we've got a nice little storage above the sunshades I forgot to tell you about. Then over here, I like to just open the door a little because there, there are magnets in here. So it literally just attaches really nicely. And then for a nice secure fit, just shut the door and it's as easy as that. 
Well, it's finally time to take the all-wheel drive Heritage out for a test drive. So I'm super excited. You're gonna get to feel the new engine, that dual turbo. Um, again, more ho horsepower, more torque. And the great thing about the Heritage is that you could really use this as your everyday vehicle if you wanted to, too. You know, you got bathroom handy, seats belt, seat belts for seven in this. So um, lots of options. So one of the things that I love that's brand new for 2025 is this rear view uh, mirror. So typically it's a mirror, but in a B van, a lot of times that means you're looking through your windows that are quite a ways back, um, but now they've got the camera. So it's crystal clear. You can see exactly what's behind you. You can adjust it if you need to move that camera up or down a little. Absolutely love it. And then I can flip it. I can still check out, you know, my lipstick, make sure it's good and check out my passengers if I need to as well. So what I love about the new engine is literally when you put your foot on the accelerator, you just go. There isn't a lag. Um, so it's just kind of like driving your car. It really feels no different to me. So the thing that I like about the all wheel drive is I do have that extra clearance. Um, so I think it's 11 and a half inches of, of clearance. So that's a big difference. That's more than your Tahoe, um, Escalade, those kind of vehicles. So, you know, gives you some options and just drives nice. We've got the Sumo shocks, shocks on the Heritage. Um, you can option in the air suspension if you want, but you can see it's nice and, you know, uh, pretty smooth just with Sumo shocks. All right, so we're getting on the freeway now. I'm getting up to speed. No issues with that whatsoever. Again, feels like I'm driving my Sequoia, my car, like it's, it's the same. That's the great thing about this is that you can use it every day if you wanted to. So now that I am almost at 65 here, I'm gonna go ahead and turn on my cruise control and set. And now I can just sit back and enjoy the ride. I do love the safety features that are, um, you know, just come standard with the Mercedes chassis. So I have collision mitigation, adaptive cruise control, lane keep assist. Um, it's also gonna watch my driving habits. So if they can tell if I keep veering over to the side of the lane, it's gonna give me a little warning that maybe I should pull over, grab a cup of coffee. Um, just something to keep you alert and safe while you're driving. So I am actually getting, and again, I can set those alarms. So right now, like on my lane keep assist, if I veer over to the lane, I get a little audible warning plus a little haptic warning um, that I'm going outside the lane. So I've got a truck next to me, I won't do it. I'm also getting my blind spot monitor alert here. So it's just like driving your car. If you, if you have a Mercedes um, car, this is gonna be very familiar to you. The ride and drive is gonna be familiar. So right now I'm just going to veer over to my lane without putting my blinker on and I get a little haptic, I get a little beep, and I get a little um, shake of the steering column to let me know that I'm going outside my lane. Now, one of the other things I love, about, I've got my four camera view here right in front of me. So I've got the front, the rear, and the sides of the van, all very easy to see. Again, keeping me safe, keeping me very alert of what's happening around the van as I'm driving down the road. And then my rearview mirror. Love it. I'm just going to keep talking about that. <laughs> so if you've watched my videos, you know that um, I drop my phone a lot because my case is always broken, but <laughs> that I always do the decibel reader. So 64.2. So that's really quiet. Like it's very automotive. Like just like you're driving your car, you're not going to feel any different in the drivability. And then it's nice and quiet. You're gonna have conversation. I could I could uh, holler to the kids in the very back and they they'd be able to hear me. So you're, you're gonna love it. So what what am I saying? Saying come to National Indoor V Centers. You need to take one of these out for a test drive. It really will, um, you know, sell itself. Let's say let's make it that easy. But come visit us at National Indoor V Centers. So I'm sure you're wondering how, what this gorgeous stone gray, fully loaded, all-wheel drive heritage would cost you. So current MSRP is $255,715. Now, I'm going to sell it to you for a lot less than that, so make sure you give me a call at National Indoor RV Centers. And remember, with our volume and economies of scale, 
RVs simply cost less at National Indoor RV Centers. I hope you've enjoyed this video today. Leave me your comments below. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe. Make sure you go and check out my video on protein fire suppression system, our paint and body at National Indoor RV Centers, one-stop shop, we do it all. And then of course our AIM Club, All-Inclusive Motorhome Club. If you're not sure where to take your van on your first trip, I'll help you with that. Hope you have a wonderful day and thanks again for commenting and watching.